Hi, I'm J.R. Scope. I'm a planetary geologist with the SETI Institute. I've spent my life exploring Mars and the Moon and the planets, volcanoes, and the solar system. And today I'm going to talk about the Astro Reality Lunar Pro. Now, I've been searching for planetary globes and maps of all the planets my entire life, just you know, for work as well as for fun. And as awesome as good maps are, they can tell you stories, they can tell you what things are, uh, where they are, how they're related, there's something about holding a planetary surface in your hand. And that's what made me really like uh, this Lunar Pro by Astro Reality. They took uh, laser altimeter data from the uh, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. They, using that data, they were able to make a 3D mold and create this uh, really true-to-form topographic model of the Moon. Um, you can see the basaltic flows, the smooth that we usually see from the near side of the Moon as well as the very cratered highland of the far side and the um, highlands all around. And as a geologist, I've spent a lot of time understanding the stories of this, looking at maps, looking at papers, pictures from uh, both satellite and human missions, but there's something about holding these features in your hands that really takes it to the next level. By feeling what the Orientale Basin feels like under your fingers, you can feel the you know, inner mare as well as the outer ring system of the basin and it just really takes us to the next level of understanding. Furthermore, I spend a lot of time in the field picking up rocks, picking up volcanoes, feeling the heft of a real rock in the field. And this globe has heft to it. It feels, it's very dense, it's not like a cardboard globe that you might find or plastic. This has a real heft to it. It feels like you're holding a real rock in the field. And as a geologist, I really like that feeling. So it really combines feeling like you're holding the real rock, but with the accurate geology and topography of the moon. Now, the colors itself are painted to match the true tones of the moon. The dark basalt, uh, volcanic terrains that we see mostly when we look up, as well as the very bright areas of the kind of lighter um, granite-like anorthosite um, highlands around the rest of it. And so, because it's painted, it's never quite the same. I've seen a few different models and there's a little variation, but it's a bit of an artistic impression upon it. And so, um, for the most part, they really match what I'm used to seeing in the sky, what I see from orbital images, and what's been brought back by Apollo images from the moon. And on top of this globe as being just probably one of the best topographic globes I've ever seen of the moon, it comes with a augmented reality layer. By using the um, Lunar Pro Astro Reality, uh, the app that goes with it, it matches the features and lets you dive into the stories. It will show you where different um, Apollo missions, different landers, the surveyors, uh, all the different missions we sent to the moon are. It shows you the different craters and basins and volcanoes. And on top of that, because it's an updatable app, the story of the AR experience is never finished. So while this is a beautifully reproduced globe that you know can sit on your desk forever, um, the story that the app can tell, the data sets, the topography, the future landing sites, as NASA keeps sending missions, as private companies keep sending missions, the app can keep being updated to show new information as we learn more. And so while it's you know a beautiful place for your desk, it's a never-ending story with the electronic data. Um, I'm helping the company as a science advisor to help develop some of that content to it. How do we tell the actual stories of the moon? How do we write what we currently know as well as update what will be known? And using the electronic interface to map with the surface of the moon is just the real power and what makes this Astro Reality Lunar Pro so special. Okay, so um, one of the powers of the Lunar Pro is the app that comes with it that allows us to communicate a lot of the data of the moon. So while the moon is just a static kind of what you would see in the night sky, we can add all these kind of features using the camera on the phone. The app will recognize the different features. So here we can see craters like the Copernicus Crater, uh, landing sites like Apollo 12 and 14. Um, and then we can click on them and see data come up. We can see uh, images from the Apollo missions. We can see movies play. Um, a lot of the data that we like to know about the moon can be stored here. Little blurbs about the missions. Um, a lot of this information that you can't see on the moon itself, we can then have access to using the app. Um, 
One of my favorite parts of the app is that it can be constantly updated. So as we learn more, as we want to get more content, as the Astro Reality team grows and can add more information here, uh, this data set is never ending. So as humans continue to explore the moon, uh, as we add more research, we can keep adding more features and more images and more data sets to a never ending story of understanding the moon.